Well, we always like a Nicky Henderson banker at the Cheltenham Festival. And is it in the shape of Shishkin in the Ark? Or? Well, it was about three weeks ago, wasn't it? Or so. I mean, after he'd had his last run, I thought he was great. He's won three out of three. He's virtually scored 10 out of 10 each time. Nobody could really put any... You couldn't find a, pick a hole in it, really, except possibly that he hadn't beaten anything of any great significance. Um, but as I say, he's been really good. And at the time, well, everybody said, well, he's virtually gone odds on. He's the obvious horse of the meeting. This is going to be boring. Um, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Within a fortnight, um, it's now the best race of the meeting. It's the clash of all times. Um, there's plenty of others in there. I mean, I don't. I think out of that, all mankind has been very good as well. And he's going to set some. We know we're going to get plenty of pace. That won't shouldn't worry him. Um, Willie's horse, whose name I can never pronounce, Energy Main. Well done. It's interesting. Actually, Nico told me the other day that Tom Lacey, who had him as a pointer pointer. He actually used to bring his pointer pointers here and come and work with us quite a bit. And actually, Nico said he was he brought him here one morning and schooled him over our fences. Um, so he's actually been here now. How we managed to let him escape, I'm not sure. I wasn't actually here the morning, or I didn't I didn't see him school. Nico said I wasn't on the schooling ground. I don't know what they were doing on my schooling ground. Probably. They found a day and I wasn't here and went and zipped up over the fences. But Nico schooled him. Then he went round to point to point. And I believe he was sold before the lorry got even got him home. Fair play. It's going to be a, you know, it is a fascinating contest. It is not, he's, he's as good a chance as we've got, but he's a long way from a banker. I don't know, you know to be fair, he was assumed to be our sort of best chance last year in the Supreme. And... It was a great performance to, to, to have actually have won that because he all but got carried. He, he really was put in the car park. You know, to get back from where he went, get back into the race and then find a way through walls of horses that he had, you know, he'd got put behind. Um, it was brave. It was very good riding from Nico's point of view and it was a very brave horse to get him there. You know, the Supreme is as good a trial for the Arkle as you can get. Quite a lot of horses have won the Arkle, like Sprint to Sacra, that couldn't win a Supreme. He was third, albeit to another horse of ours. But I mean, you know, it was, it was a, it, it's a good test. Um, and, you know, I think he's in good form. Things have gone well. He's a very, very straightforward horse. There's, the thing, there's no real chink in his armour at all, is there? He's a very strong traveller. He appears to go on any sort of ground. He, his jumping would probably be his, his main asset. I mean, he's, he's absolutely mustered, isn't he, over his fences? He has been very good. And, I mean, I don't think there was any doubt at the beginning of the season that we were going to go novice chasing. With Altior, we armed an ard because it looked as if the champion hurdle door was wide open. As you know, Bouvedere that year went novice chasing and then we switched him back because... That, that door, that it was wide open. That was the same year as Altior had gone novice chasing and it didn't, it seemed that we were going to be knocking our heads together with our own two horses in the Arkle, so we moved them back. No, he has been, he's been straightforward. He's, he's very, he's very uncomplicated, but there are lots of complications out there in front of him now. The Mars chase is the, obviously the, the novice race for, again, the intermediate um, chasers. You've got some um, Chantry House who, was very, very impressive up at Weatherby last time. I think he's very good. I mean, he always was. He was um, he was third in the Supreme last year, but I've always been pretty confident that at least two and a half is going to be his trip. And he's always jumped very well at home. His debut at Ascot was, and I don't often run novices first time out over fences at Ascot. And we did with him, and he had a lovely introduction, really, because... It's, it's such a good start when they start in Swindley Bottom and you jump those fences all the way up the hill. Then you find the difficult bit comes going back down the hill. Um, it's a lovely warm-up start, though, that, right up the hill. And he had plenty of time to get into his rhythm. And he had a school for the first mile and a half and then he crept into the race. He won well and it looked a tip-top performance. Unfortunately, we then went to Cheltenham 
and things went badly wrong. His jumping was all over the shop. It was peculiar. We needed to find out why, and it appeared to be in his back, and he had to have some back surgery. And the veterinarians did a great job. Um, and I think I probably read the instructions wrong, because actually he got back onto the race course at Weatherby the other day, eight weeks after that surgery. Now, that was a fair horse to be able to do that as well, really. But it was a great comeback, and it's all he needed to see. And he's, you know, I think he's put himself right back in the front of this. I, the biggest problem and coming into this race with two good chances, I think, and under normal circumstances, is obviously Envoy Allen, um, who you know, has looked throughout his whole career as, as, as a very, very, very good horse and a very hard one to beat. So they're going to have to be good. I do think Chantry House, I love Fuzzy Raffles. He's a really lovely person. But they've both got a good chance. And I, say, I think Chantry's done, as I say, it's apart from that blip when he didn't jump, which hopefully we found out, then I'd like to think we'll give Envoy Allen a race. And you just touched there on, on Fusil Raffles. He's a horse who's got quite a lot of experience over fences. He's, he's got some very high class form. I mean, how, how confident are you that he can put up his, his best effort in the marsh? Well, he actually won the race that Chantry House was jumping so badly in, um, which proves sometimes it's worth running two in a race. Some usually ends in tears. <laughs> but he's a very versatile horse. He does stay two and a half. He's one over two. And he had a busy first half of the season. Now he's had a freshen up and he's all ready to rock and roll. Uh, he does like good ground. Uh, Chantry House would probably cope with most things, but Fusey is, there was just one day in very soft ground at Cheltenham earlier in the year when ever, Mr. Feature couldn't go in it, Fusey Raffles couldn't go in it. It was a disaster. They all got stuck in the mud. But, you know, once they get out onto their ground, they're uh, off and away. Dicky Diver is... 40 to 1 with Unibet to win the Brown Advisory Novices Chase. Do you think those are quite big odds, too big odds for him? Well, he's a very talented horse. He's not the easiest to train. But we have a few. <laughs> he just is a bit creaky, you know, consequently. He's actually only just having his, you know, he's only just had a couple of runs for, you know, to get him experienced enough for this. The original plan would be to go a bit further than this. He's a, you know, he is a stayer. He does love soft ground. I don't think it'll, you know, I'm sure Simon is always going to keep this. They always will. It'll be, it'll be good to soft or softer. It won't be any quicker. That'll be fine for him, but the softer the better. Um, you know, we don't know what the last week's going to do. Um, and whether he'll have to put a splash on just to keep it that way. But, um, you know, I know you was talking that he didn't think he would have to. But if it was soft ground, he would he would really enjoy it. He'd be less than forty to one. If it was if it was very quick, which it won't be, he wouldn't run at all. But um, you know, he, he's he's getting there, and he yeah, he's entitled to take part. And you must have been quite encouraged by that that seasonal run and that first ice over fence. He was. He was very good. He jumped well. It was it was a part of his education, really. But it was a good run, and he finished very strongly. Get up to £40 money back as a bonus if your first racing bet loses. Unibet, you're on.